I'm making this video uh, to just show how I made the drag chain chain supports uh, for my auto laser. Uh, basically, everything's screwed together. Um, pieces of aluminum that I bought from Home Depot, and uh, I'll explain the various pieces and the brackets I made to make this happen. I use this uh, 1 16th uh, by 3 quarter inch by 3 feet uh, angle aluminum, I guess you call it. I can't really call it angle iron because it's aluminum. Um, from Home Depot, it was I bought a three foot strip. That was enough to basically make the uh, pieces for the brackets and for the uh, x-axis support. Um, for the y-axis support, I just bought some one inch by sixteenth of an inch a strip of that, and that's just to carry the the, the chain for the x-axis for the uh, for the y-axis. I mounted a little plate in there which I mounted to the plastic plate of the auto and then I just have a little bolt that goes through there that supports this uh, x-axis piece okay I'm moving to the other end um, for this is just a piece that's bent a piece of the, the the flat one inch stuff that's bent and it is just double-sided tape stuck to the back of the stepper motor here. Um, and then down here, you can see very simple. I just have a, I just have a little three-quarter inch piece there that's, that's bolted one hole there, one hole here, and that just mounts to this the support track. And I'll talk how I did the wire. Tell you how I did the wiring. For the wiring, I, I took off the uh, the cable protectors on both axes and you have the eight wires from this eight wire socket here. Uh, four go to um, this stepper motor, the other four go to the stepper motor over here. So that's a long wire. I kind of split those apart and because this piece of the drag chain never really moves, Okay, that's that's pretty much where the, the cable doesn't move from this point, regardless of how much travel there is here. Um, I made most of the connections in here to extend the, the piece here for for the for this connector, so that the, all the connections would be down in this area, and then I for the next piece. For this stepper motor, for this stepper motor, um, I extended those from about here, okay, around with this ribbon cable that you see, and then actually connected them here. Um, I left a little bit of extra, just I really wasn't quite sure how much I would need. Uh, I didn't want to be too too uh, short. I figured this wire's just sitting up here doing nothing. It doesn't hurt. Um, there's no stress or uh, strain on it. Um, so what I actually did, you know, you have four wires which basically go to the first stepper motor. Um, they're four, four different colours, so I cut them at slightly different lengths for each connector, so I wouldn't have four bulky connectors all in one, pl all in one place. And same thing over here um, for this connector, did four... So they, the, the four connectors for the four wires spread out over about this distance. Um, the toughest wire is probably this black wire, which I believe is the um, feeds the laser as well as the uh, the the stop bump switch down here. Because um, these are four black wires, so I actually had to I had cut one, I'd peel it a little bit, I would connect that, go a little bit further along the wire, cut it connect that wire because there's you know there's no color matching so you just don't want to mess those up as regards uh crossing the wires over um again i just spread those out okay staggering the the cuts and the joints and then i basically repeated the same process uh, in in here for the uh 
for the which would be the, the X channel here I had brought this piece in here and started connecting with one connector here next connector there there and so forth and uh, and likewise did similar with the uh, this wire that feeds um, the actual laser module um, I was a little bit concerned because this is the only real wire that's got some really heavy insulation on it and I didn't know whether that was needed for some kind of uh, you know electrical interference protection or not so I put uh, as much shrink wrap tube as I could get on there but um, I use heat shrink solder connections for all of the joints you basically just push the wire into this into it you can heat it with either a lighter or a, a, a heat gun which is what I used and uh, there's no soldering really in it. it just the, the solder melts from the heat gun and the uh, the wires get held in place by the, the heat shrink tubing and it makes a great joint and that's pretty much it so you need a drill okay probably a hacksaw to obviously to cut your aluminum um i just drilled holes that were real close the bolts i use are uh, steel so they will actually self cut their own threads into the aluminum um, if you get the right size drill bit um, the chain I got from Amazon I think it's uh, size is 10 by 11 millimeters um, so, so it's one centimeter by 1.1 centimeters wide um, that was like 10 or 11 dollars bought two of those um, I've got a spare of it over here didn't need let's see if I can get a close-up of the bag I'll show you my camera on focus on the part. Well, it came from Amazon. I'll put links to that in the description. Um, and that's basically it. Works like a champ.